Hello, it's been another really good week here in Plymouth. It's been quite varied. I was in London at the beginning of the week uh, meeting the Home Secretary and uh, the Veterans Minister as well, speaking about two subjects particularly close to my heart. Obviously veterans, but uh, with the Home Secretary I discussed the mental health provision and how uh, I don't think custody is a place for uh, mental health sufferers at all. I know it's something we wrestle with here in Plymouth because there just isn't a provision at the moment. Well, I certainly want to see more of that. And it's really interesting when she said to me actually that the government doesn't want to see any mental health sufferers in custody at all. Um, and that's great to have that aim. Uh, we now need to back that up and see how we get there. As well as spending a bit of time in London with Theresa May this week, George Osborne visited Plymouth and outlined the government's strategy for the economic health of the South West. This is a really important issue. I've long argued that Plymouth deserves better than it has had from the government. And it was really encouraging to hear that this government prioritises Plymouth far more than the previous one. It matters. More growth, more jobs, more homes, and better infrastructure, including transport. It's what our wonderful city deserves, and I'm committed to seeing it through. Tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, we're heading up to Whitley Green Shops to have a chat with voters up there. Uh, we'll go along to Jonathan Dreen's Saturday surgery. He's the council up there um, who's done a wonderful job over the last few years and have a chat with voters uh, in that area. Um, just a quick note to say thanks very much, really, for all your support again um, this week. It's 96 days, I believe, left on my chuff chart till the general election. Um, it is a challenging and an arduous and a long campaign, but uh, your support really keeps me going. And I really appreciate that. Uh, so um, that's it for this week and have a nice weekend.